Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Sharifuddin bin Shafri and my metric number two is 204304. In this video, I would explain my assignment uh, that I've been doing for Mathematic Engineering. And so let me share my screen. So the assignment that we have is that we need to find a engineering problem that is related to the PDE, partial differential equation. And I specifically choose a problem that is related to wave equation. And the problem is about acoustic pressure. Okay. So first let's talk about partial differential equation. Partial differential equation is a equation that has multiple variable and also the partial derivatives of the variable. And it is used to formulate problems um, that has several variables and the model can be used to solve the problem by hand or even used to create a computer model. Three basic PDE that we have is wave equation, heat conduction or diffusion, and also Laplace equation. I chose to focus on wave equation here and specifically one direction, 1D wave equation. Um, wave equation is used in a lot of uh, natural phenomena especially those that, are, that has propagating signals from a source. Okay. So the, the problem that I chose is a acoustic pressure problem in an organ pipe. And it is given that the acoustic pressure uh, obeys 1D wave equation. And we are required to find the normal modes of the pressure equation and then find the frequency and also sketch the pressure distribution. And then also the third one, we are given initial condition and we need to determine the series solution for the pressure. So in solving the problem, first we have to note that as stated, the pressure equation obeys the 1D wave equation and this is the equation. And then we are solving this by using the separable variables method in which pressure equation we equate it to two, uh, the product of two function one function with only x as its variable and one function as, has only t. So from this, if we rearrange this equation back into the first equation, we will have this eigenfunction and also eigenvalues for n equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on. And then for this corresponding equation, we will also have this time function over here. And then substituting this all with each other, we'll, we will have the pressure equation equal to gamma n cosine to n minus one times pi times x divided by L times cosine to n minus one over two L pi CT minus psi n, where gamma is equal to square root of a squared plus b squared and psi is equal to arctangent of beta over alpha. So this is for the first um, requirement for the first component. We have the normal modes of the pressure. And then the second one, we can find the frequency by um, dividing the angular frequency by two pi, and we will have this. And this is for the first mode, and this is for the second mode. So we are required to find the first two modes. So this is it. Given the value of C, the speed of the wave, and also the length of the pipe, we will have a numerical value over here. And then this is what we will have for P1 and P2. And then if we plot this equation, we will have this distribution for pressure. This is for mode one and this is for mode two, the two normal mode. Okay. And this pressure is varying different on, uh, based on the corresponding phases. And then the third one, we can find the general equations of the pressure by implying the initial condition given to us. Uh, at the um, close end, we'll have zero, zero gradient of the pressure. At the open end, we will have um, fx and gx here. And then doing all the substitution, we will have this final equation. So in conclusion, PDE is very useful in analyzing uh, engineering problems. And we can see that the wave equation can be used to solve the acoustic pressure problem. And also we can prove, it, prove that the PDE is satisfied. And we, can, we did get all the components asked for us, the three components. And then we can also get the pressure distribution illustrated before. So 
So that's it from me. Thank you very much.